happy day my dear kids hope you all have finished your yesterday's homework today we are going to see chapter 2 subtraction in subtraction we are going to see regrouping with tens and ones before start with subtraction we are going to see addition with three three digit numbers that means we are going to add three three digit number together listen consider the first problem addition here we are going to add three three digit numbers 270 306 and 359 we are going to add all these three three digit numbers together now consider in ones place 069 we have to add these three numbers we no need to consider zero nothing so we have to take 6 and 9 from these two numbers which is bigger 9 so you have to make 9 as 10 by taking 1 away from 6 now you have to add 9 plus 1 as 10 if you take 1 away from 6 then remaining what 6 minus 1 is 5 now add 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 makes 10 you have to write it as 10 and you have to add the value 5 with 10 9 plus 1 makes 10 and you have to add 5 together with 10 so 10 plus 5 makes 15 10 plus 5 makes 15 now how many ones are there five ones are there that means from 15 ones you have to separate tens and ones that means from 15 ones 10 ones are there 10 ones are equal to One tens, ten ones are equal to one tens. So you have to take away one tens from fifteen ones plus five ones. So one tens plus five ones are equal to fifteen ones. Here you have to write the answer in ones place as five. in ones place you have to write only 5 because we have only 5 ones in 15 ones then one tens will be moved to the tens place this is called regrouping here one tens moved to tens place as i said already now add everything in tens place 1 7 0 5 you have to add all the four values before adding all the four values you have to consider 7 and 5 because 0 means nothing you no need to add 0 now add 7 and 5 which is bigger here 7 is bigger than 5 so you have to make 7 as 10 by taking away 3 from 5 so 7 and 3 makes 10 if you take away 3 from 5 you will get the remaining as 2 now add 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 makes 10 you have to add the remaining value 2 with 10 10 plus 2 makes 12 now you have to separate this 12 how many tens are here 12 tens are here so you have to separate 12 tens as 10 plus 2 before separating 12 tens you have to add one tens which is taken from ones place that means one tens you have to add these tens 12 tens plus one tens is equal to 13 tens are you clear now from 13 tens how many tens are there 10 tens plus 3 tens you have to separate it 10 tens plus 3 tens 10 tens is are equal to 100 10 tens are equal to 
plus 3 tens. Are you clear? 13 tens can be written as 10 tens plus 3 tens. 10 tens are equal to 100 plus remaining 3 tens. Now you have to write the value 3 in tens place because we have 3 tens. Write as 3 under tens place. Now you have to carry over 100 to hundreds place. This is another regrouping. Here regrouping happens twice. That means two times regrouping has done. Are you clear? Now add the values in hundreds place. 3 and 3 makes 6. 3 and 3 makes 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 makes 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So you got the answer in hundreds places. 9. 935 is your answer by adding 3 3 digit number. Are you clear? In this way you have to do addition problems using number bond. Let me start the new topic, subtraction. Consider the problem 352 minus 6. In one's place, 2 and 6 are there. Always the upper value should be greater than the lower value. Here, 2 is smaller than 6. That means more on top or more on floor? More on floor. More on floor means down. So you have to increase the value at the top. The top value is 2. You have to increase the value by sharing 1 tens from tens place. From 5 tens, if you share 1 tens, then 5 tens becomes 4 tens. In 1's place, 2 ones become 12 ones. Are you clear? 2 ones become 12 ones that means 10 plus 2 makes 12 12 ones now use number one method 12 and 6 you have to write one after another now separate 12 as 10 plus 2 always you have to take the whole value as 10 then remaining should be returned in the next place that means next part so 10 and 2 makes 12 we have separated 12 as 10 and 2. Now you have to subtract the smaller value of number bond. That means 2. So you have to subtract 2 from 6. 6 is at the bottom. So you have to take that value and subtract the smaller value 2. 6 minus 2 makes 4. Now again you have to do subtraction. Take the whole value 10. From 10, you got the answer as 4, right? You have to subtract that value. 10 minus 4 makes 6. 10 minus 4 makes 6. So, this is the value of 1's place after subtraction. Are you clear? I repeat again. You have to subtract 2 times while doing number bond method. In 10's place, 4 is there. So, 4 minus nothing, 4. In 100's place, 3 is there. 3 minus nothing, 3. So, your answer is 346. Are you clear children? Consider the next sum. 783 minus 408. Here, in one's place, more on top or more on floor? More on floor means down. In one's place, below 3, 8 is there. So, 8 is a bigger number. So, you have to make 3 as a bigger number than 8. You have to share it from tens place. Are you clear? From tens place, you have to share one tens to ones place. If you share one tens to one place, then three becomes thirteen, and eight tens become seven tens. Are you clear? Eight becomes seven tens. Three becomes thirteen ones. Now you can subtract easily by using number bond method. Now separate the whole into two parts. That means 13 will become 10 and 3. In number bond method, always you have to take the whole value as 10. The remaining value should be taken as the next part. So 10 and 3. Now from 10 and 3 which is the smallest value? 3. 
so you have to subtract 3 with 8 so 8 minus 3 is 5 8 minus 3 now you have to subtract 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 makes 5 are you clear again you have to subtract with the whole number 10 10 minus 5 you got the answer as 5 by doing the first subtraction 10 minus 5 equal to you get the answer as 5 10 minus 5 equal to 5 so write the answer as 5 under ones place are you clear children you have to do two times subtraction by using number bond method now in tens place 7 minus 0 equal to 7 in hundreds place 7 minus 4 equal to 3 by practicing this method again and again it will be very easy for you to do calculation this is the way of practicing mental calculation by using number bond method if you want to see more videos about mathematics just subscribe the channel red hot spicy samuel and watch the videos in this channel thank you